Well, hey there, it's uh, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, today is a weird day. Uh, I was looking at a notification on my phone from Twitter, and guess who it was from? The early, early birds in the world of high frequency trading platforms, very, pretty well the first one that I've seen, uh, Market Cetra has been somehow relaunched, or at least their Twitter account has been reactivated. There's a new website here. Um, just thought I'd reintroduce you to this software. I'm not going to do an, a review of it or just give you my overview when I played with it. It was one of the first pieces of software that got me really fascinated in this world. And we're going back, ooh, five years ago, quite a while. But let's take a look at the history of all this. So here we are on the new website um, at Market Setcher. Now, the funny thing is, when I look at the team, uh, there's no more uh, original uh, Tooley, who was the original uh, software architect of the platform. Uh, this is Colin Duplantis. Uh, new, no idea who that is, but maybe he contributed a lot to the platform. And of course, Ray Agostino, who's one of the former, um, uh, former uh, executives of the uh, company uh, back in the day. Now the other thing is when you go under uh, company about us, the interesting thing is their uh, address. Now they used to be based out of San Francisco, but now they're based out of my local town here, Toronto. Uh, and it looks like uh, this Roy Agostino's uh, Canadian, so maybe that's why they relocated it. Um, so when I look at the product, it looks quite different. Uh, the order routing, um, has, has, has uh, changed, maybe it's a different uh, name. Um, and the usual spiel you get in any platform. I remember I kind of did like it. The strategy uh, studio. Now here's the cool thing about it is that it can be integrated with all these tools here, our fave MATLAB, R, TALIB, Python, Excel. Um, so that's good to know. Market data nexus. Don't ask me about this, but it is really written on uh, JDBC or Java. So be aware of that. Uh, it is open source. Um, so where is the? Hey everybody! I uh, just wanted to let you know I found what I'm looking for: the compare between the open source edition and the enterprise edition of Market etc. So here we go. Um, you get all the usual stuff for uh, a free open source trading platform with a developer API, okay? Uh, in Java, as I said, there's also it uses the CEP engine, or sorry, Esper. Um, you do get the source code, fully scalable. <clears throat> now, where it gets interesting is if you wanna do, let's say, the um, .NET API, you need to go with the enterprise, all the warranty, all that. Now here's where uh, Market Setcher did fall apart a lot. It's now they've got broker connectors uh, as part of the options for enterprise, uh, which is quite interesting. Uh, you have obviously Ice City, Barclays, Knight, Interactive Brokers obviously, Deutsche Lime, Black Watch, blah, blah, blah. Now this is where it gets very interesting. This has got me interested because now you can go to Duca's copy and it's part of um, the free edition. That is fascinating. But yet, you still, with the market data providers, you get interactive brokers, active, uh, Reuters, so you get all the professional, and then if you need, you got Yahoo and Duca's copy. That's pretty cool. Now for strategy creation, uh, you get uh, everything in parallel. Again, you get that with the sort open source edition. Um, the, the TA lib is included, so you can extend it out. That's the technical analysis. Uh, the trading logic traits, uh, custom alerts, that's cool. Back testing to a similar um, portfolio uh, 
performance measurement, uh, custom tick indicators, uh, you get uh, access to the FAQ, blah, 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 blah. Now, where it gets quite interesting here is the help we don't really need, but there was MATLAB integration right here. Integration with MATLAB, Python, Excel, and R. That's the, in the commercial edition. But you, you could easily connect it. If you're getting source code, you could easily connect that into MATLAB. This is quite interesting. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Because let's say with Duca's copy, I know that they can be pretty good for Forex data for the exchange. Uh, okay, maybe you don't need interactive brokers, but with the Duca's copy, that's what makes a difference. And it's in the open source edition. And of course, as I said, you get the open source uh, edition. Um, so let's take a look at the user's guide here in their confluence. Um, you get all the user documentation, all the user guides. Um, so it's there. And the, and the thing is, again, uh, where am I looking? Um, we've got the API access. Now, the, if, if there's Java, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, but because you get source code, you can easily extend it either into the TA lib, the technical analysis lib, or you could extend it into uh, the MATLAB uh, with through the MATLAB JA. This is very interesting. I am somewhat intrigued by this. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later. Bye.